Today, I am going to teach you, the viewer, exactly how to make millions from your phone in Jamaica legally. And I know us Jamaicans have a short attention span. However, I can guarantee that if you watch this video from beginning to end and follow the steps, you can quit your 9 to 5 slavery by April. Also, feel free to ask any questions you may have in the comment section below. This is an old video that got deleted accidentally and I have been getting tons of requests to upload. Persons have been working with these companies from last year, so they will also be able to assist you in the comment section below. Additionally, on my Instagram page, I have a section of highlights called text hustle that will also answer your questions the only thing i don't want you to do is to dm me and ask me questions do all of that below otherwise please don't forget to subscribe as this channel is going to have all the money making secrets hustling secrets networking secrets free vendor links from china for hair and shoes class is now in session guys so let's go hey guys this is your host dolly and i want to welcome you to this very special edition of the buzz box today i will be explaining to you guys exactly how i was able to make over three thousand us dollars per week from my phone right in jamaica and i will be explaining how you can do it starting today because as they say each one help one Tens of persons all over the world are making millions from this online job. It is known as one of the most popular jobs today. And in this video, I will be explaining first the job description. That is exactly what you will be doing when you're employed. Secondly, my application process, as well as a direct link to the company that I work for, as well as the companies that my friends work for. Thirdly, my personal business strategy including the tips the tricks and the hacks that i used to make that much money have you ever heard of sexting well if you haven't let me introduce you quite simply sexting is sending adult text messages to people on a site is it safe very at no point will you be asked to show your body or reveal your identity i must add that even though the site does employ men, I know Jamaican men. They're going to say, oh, I'm not going to do that. But don't worry. I will be providing you with an exclusive hack in which you can have persons working for you and you will not have to lift a finger. As well as those females who want to boss up, that hack is for you too. Jumping right into it. Application process plus payment information. After clicking the link in the bio, you will be directed to the home page. Once you get to the home page, they will be asking you for your name, your email address, as well as your gender. Now, if you're a male applying, don't be afraid because they do employ males. They are not biased as to their employees because males can do the same job females can in this category. After that form is received, a couple days later, you will be receiving another email which is asking you to send them a copy of your identification. You will be required to send a picture of your ID or scan it if a scanner is available. You will next be receiving an email with audition questions. Now, these audition questions are basically scenarios of how men will be texting you on the site. So they are going to be sending you a few messages that men normally send and they want to see how you will respond to these messages. So it is in your best interest to respond as best as you can. And if you can't, please ask someone who, you know, is very creative and knows how to flirt to do this step for you. Because once you pass this step, we move on to the money step. Now, after passing that stage, I must say congratulations. You are now officially a text chat operator and on your way to making thousands of US dollars. Now, I can only tell you about the payment information for my site. So let me start doing that now. I was paid 20 cents US per message, which is roughly around $30 Jamaican per message. So for each 100 messages I sent, I received 
3,000 Jamaican dollars. For every 1,000 messages I sent, I received $30,000 and so on. Now these companies offer two payment methods, PayPal and bank transfer. So once you're in Jamaica and your account is enabled to receive international transfers, there will be no issue. As well as you can link your PayPal account to your Jamaican bank account. Back in 2017 to 2019, I had challenges with this because, you know, the banks weren't as uh, lenient as they are now to international transfers. And I must say that in the two years that I worked for this company, I never had an issue with payments. Payments were sent out like clockwork every single Wednesday. So whatever you worked from Thursday until Tuesday night, you would be receiving your earnings the next Wednesday. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. We have now come to the part of the video where I will be providing you with exclusive tricks and hacks as to how I move from making $45,000 per week to over $330,000 per week. In appreciation of this information, if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Also, leave a comment and like this video. I was once in your shoes. No matter who I asked, even if they knew, they would not tell. And that is the main reason why I decided to come here and share this knowledge because I know how hard it is to find legit sources of income online. Tip number one. You have to treat this as a job. Even though you are given the privilege to work from anywhere, at any time, as long as you have your phone, you have to ensure that you set a standard or you set a designated amount of messages that you will send every day and try to meet this. Now, my quota for the day was 250 messages. I worked for six days of the week. So by the end of the week, I had 1,500 messages which was a payout of more or less $45,000. After a couple of months of working and earning between $30,000 to $45,000 weekly, I then started to get bored. Because it's not as if you are in a workplace where you're seeing people, you're being distracted, you're hearing noise. It's just you at home texting. A thought then came to me. I was like, what if I were to hire somebody to send my messages and pay them a portion of what I received? With this plan in mind, I then set out and found someone who was really good in English and able to type very fast. This person received $10,000, which was $4,000 more than they had requested to send the 1,500 messages per week. And can you believe that by the Thursday of every week, this person sent their messages, finished the quota, collected their $10,000, went home, and came back the following Monday. And this continued for a period of about two months. So for every 1,500 messages the person sent, I was making $30,000 in my pocket without lifting a finger. At this point, Realizing that I am making money and not lifting a finger, the Jamaican in me really started to shine through. And I said to myself, what if I could open 10 more accounts and have more persons working for me, which would bring in more money. However, I would have to go through the whole registration, audition, and all of that process again in order to have more accounts for persons to work. People, listen. I am going to encourage nobody to go on no dating site and create no profile with no look good man and message no girl in the US, promise them no trip to Dubai if only they could send you their ID to show that they are a real person you are going to book the flight. No, I am not going to do that because that is totally wrong. Okay, so... Um, after opening in my accounts, I was then able to hire 10 more persons and this was bringing me 11 times $30,000 per week. At this point, another idea came to me. What if I were able to have them on shifts? So I would have 11 persons working on day and 11 persons working on night. 
So you know that is 22 times 30,000. And that is exactly what I did. So, you know, if you were online at any point and saw somebody searching for persons who are really good at texting, really good at um, English, that probably was me. So with these persons, I was making a lot of money monthly. Do the math. A lot of money. Do you know the saying, the more money you have, the more problems you have? It is so true. Because after a time, I started having a lot of issues. The first one being, remember that each working account had to be attached to a PayPal. Now, these PayPals were opened by friends and family members overseas. Open very legally because anybody can open a PayPal. And all I needed them to do was to collect my earnings and send it to me, which the site I was working for is a very legit and well-known site. Now, what happened is that the more money that was coming into each PayPal account, the more PayPal requested verification. And if you know about PayPal, they're going to ask you for the standard that Jesus wear and the stone that killed Goliath. So after a time, it became frustrating when PayPal kept requesting for more information and some other people who had the accounts just couldn't bother. And I totally understand. So that was the first problem I experienced. The other issue I encountered is that when the money went into the account per week and the persons who were collecting it from PayPal overseas saw that, okay, $600 is being made weekly and I am only being paid $100, I need more. So they were sending out only like $200 out of each $600. So that wasn't enough to pay the workers plus cover my bills. And in addition to that, you have six accounts which are getting money from six different PayPal, six different persons overseas. And if you know anything about Jamaican remittance system, you cannot be going to one place to collect six transactions. And then I had to have persons collecting money for me weekly. So I had to be paying the persons overseas, paying persons to collect. So by the time it came to paying the workers plus paying myself, it was just not working out. Issue number two, the workers. They became very lazy and very spoiled because they were being paid very well to be sending only 1,500 messages per week. Sometimes they would hurry to finish the messages in three days and the quality was really bad. And we had a moderator by the name of Katie. She checked all the messages. And if they were not being written properly or she found issues with the quality, she would suspend the account. I also had a few girls who would see some men in the site and they would send their numbers for the men to message them privately. This got a few of the accounts deleted. All right, so after encountering these issues, I'm sure you're going to say, why didn't you go back to just one or two accounts? Because obviously, it's the more money that caused the more problem. But to be honest with you, this sex chat operator job is not something that you can do for years or say, okay, this is my career. It's just income to accomplish a goal. Say you want to buy a car or you want to send yourself back to school or some, you know, short-term goal or long-term goal that you want to accomplish sooner. Because after a time, you know, texting these men, it does take a toll on you. And if you're a boss and you have persons working for you, even though you're not texting to say it's going to take a mental toll on you, the issues that you're going to encounter with Jamaican banking system, Jamaican remittance system, Jamaicans working for you is not worth it. Trust me. And sometimes it is better to make enough money than too much money. Now, I want to thank you for joining me today and I hope I was able to help you. Please remember, the link is in the bio below. Please go and audition, send in your applications, get the job and make that money. Until next week, guys, this was your host, Dolly. I want to thank you for joining me today inside the buzz box. Please ensure that you are subscribed and your notification bell is turned on.
because I am sure you don't want to miss next week's episode when I will be giving you exclusive information on where and how to find sugar daddies in Jamaica. And for the guys, don't worry. I have the details on the sugar mamas as well. Because as the famous Miss Kitty says, if you meet one, you meet the nest of them. And trust me, I have the strategies and the information on where to go and how to meet them in Jamaica. Until next week, guys. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.